All right, guys. Well, here it is. The next morning, and the uh, layup has been um, is well and truly cured. It's been under this electric blanket and under vacuum pressure. Actually, that vacuum pressure this time was only about, uh, I only put it at about 10, 10 inches of mercury. <clears throat> and I think we're going to sacrifice the bag. first thing in the morning. So you gotta have your coffee. Alright, pull off the rubber bands. Keep your fingers crossed. The hope here is that this tube will come off without me having to spend an hour. with a hammer and a chisel and various and disparate instruments of destruction to destroy the cardboard tube. Okay, batting material is off. Perforated plastic is off. And I still have ridges. That is disappointing. 
may have to do this without bagging it. This is the peel ply. This particular peel ply is a lighter, um, a lighter grade of polyester fabric that I picked up um, from a friend of mine who isn't is getting out of the hobby, and so. Um, he had several yards. Of this peel ply, I gave him 20 bucks for it. It's lighter than stand, the peel ply I'm, I'm used to. Uh, so if I, if the stuff that I'm used to using, you know, let's say it's like a a six ounce um, weight, this is something like about half that. And uh, this stuff does not, it's not heavy enough or strong enough to hold together in one piece as you um, are ripping it off of the part. And so it's definitely more work to use the lighter peel ply that I've got here can't recommend it. I will continue to use it until it's gone because, hey, you got it, use it, find a use for it. Anyway, I'll finish all that cleanup work later. The real question is, is this thing going to come off the damn tube? I'm already not encouraged. So, operating under the hope that I will eventually get this thing to slide off, I'm going to need all of this mess to not be here. not really in the mood to fight with this thing right now so uh, I'm gonna drink some more coffee maybe I'll fight with this a bit maybe I'll end up having to split the tube down the middle and then retape it shut I don't know uh, back in a bit hey guys all right so I have been unsuccessful in getting this tube off of the cardboard tube and I don't feel like destroying another cardboard tube trying to get the damn thing off so I'm gonna resort to plan C or D I'm not sure which and I'm gonna cut the carbon tube off of the cardboard tube it's not because I want to save the cardboard tube. Christ, the things only cost a couple of bucks. But uh, it's just a huge major pain in the ass to get the cardboard out from underneath the carbon. So, um, there we go. Oh, if you hear a noise, that's my new air filtration system. And I've got it running because... 
I'm about to cut carbon. Oh yeah. Oh. It's a cool little uh, Dremel bit. Great for this kind of work. There is a ridge running right here. That's the part I'm going to cut. Okay, so all right, was the cut straight? No, I didn't want it to be. I wanted it to go right down that ridge line. All right. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at this one. All right, this is serial number two. And it has ridges just like serial number one did which is pretty goddamn disappointing because i put a lot more work into this one um and i'm gonna make this one work so uh i've still got the the plastic um nothing sticks to me in here nothing sticks to me except for you know my tubes uh, but this one can be saved I'll sand down I'll sand these ridges down and um, and I will put a, a one inch wide uh, maybe a two inch wide piece of carbon cloth uh, you know down over the the, the cut line and Crap! I'm disappointed. All right. Well, if you guys have any better ideas, feel free to leave comments. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna have to think about this a bit uh, before I try serial number three. So, stay tuned. Later. <laughs>